Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about makeup trends, makeup rules, makeup habits, makeup tips, whatever. They are just unhealthy and downright unsafe. Uh, the makeup I have on, I did film it. You're going to see a tutorial on this maybe next week or soon. I don't know exactly when, but I promise it's going to be soon. And now let's move on to our subject. Number one subject on today's list is sleeping with your makeup on. Now granted, this is not the most dangerous, you know, makeup pack or bad habit, whatever, um, but it deserves to be mentioned because it is a bad habit to be sure with damaging effects. Our skin regenerates and moisturizes and gets fresher overnight. If you sleep with your makeup on, you can get dehydrated, your skin can get dehydrated and also gets infected. So you can actually wake up with like pimples and redness and blotchiness and itchiness and what what not um, just because of that. So if that's a habit you have it, you need to break it because it's um, damaging to your skin. It doesn't really matter at what time I'm getting home, I'm always, always taking my makeup off. I'm taking that 10 minutes, 5 minutes to take my makeup off, to free my skin and supply moisturizer and oils and everything that's just, it's good for the skin and um, hopefully in the morning I'm not gonna wake up with pimples and redness. The, the, <laughs> wait a minute. The second subject on today's list is heating up the eyelash colors. Ding, ding, ding! This has to be um, the prize winner because this is the most stupid thing I've ever heard. This is so, so dangerous. Please don't try it at home. And um, do you know what that means? Taking eyelash colors, a lighter, heating up that eyelash colors, putting that on your eyes because it holds the curl. I don't have to tell you how dangerous that is. You know, putting heat around your eyes, it's never a good idea. I do not understand why an influencer, a big one at that, should talk about this. I mean, there are so many people, young people, that are watching those videos and they think, well, this person does it says it's okay it's fine it's amazing i should do it myself i'll try it please don't try it let's move on three number three putting permanent eyelashes on yourself no go no bueno that is like super glue that glue and it's going to damage your eyelashes, maybe your eyes as well. If you don't have experience like at all with eyelashes, with normal eyelash glue, then don't try this. Don't try it if you have experience, because it's one thing to be putting eyelashes, permanent eyelashes on some, someone else, and it's another thing to be putting them on yourself. I mean, I've seen so many girls you know, doing videos like how to put permanent eyelashes on yourself and I find it to be dangerous. That's why I'm talking about this. Go to a professional if you want those kind of lashes. They are beautiful, they can make you look amazing. And um, just, yeah, go to a professional. Don't do it yourself. It's not a good idea. The problem is the glue that's being used for this technique. It's like a super glue. It holds. It really, really holds. So um, be careful with that. Number <laughs> number four is again on yourself tattooing eyebrows, eyeliner, lip liner, whatever not. This is even a worse idea than the previous one because at least there with the eyelashes you can have the glue, you can have the eyelashes removed uh, professionally in like 15 minutes, you are done. Um, but here, <laughs> you, this is the result, you know, you might not like it, but this is the result, you are stick with it. Yeah, it's really, really hard to remove tattoos and to make them look better. 
just in general it's a very bad idea that freaks me out just thinking about it number five on the list is setting your makeup with your hairspray again no it might sound logical but it's not i promise you it's not because a regular makeup setting spray that contains suiting ingredients for your skin it boosts your skin it makes it look better you know more youthful maybe and also holds your makeup into place whereas a hairspray that contains alcohol and um, ingredients that are going to irritate your skin and it's going to leave you with some damages so no 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 that it's that's a bad idea and number six <laughs> number six on today's list is the Kylie Jenner lip challenge no shade whatsoever towards Kylie Jenner I love her lips and that's not a lie but everyone knows that she got her lips through um, injections and not this kind of device. If you've never heard of this concept, it's really simple. It's about putting your lips into this device. It's like a short glass and um, you need to suck out the air, creating like a suction and hold it. I don't know for about 30 seconds I think that's even too much and then when your lips emerge they're going to look three times the size however I myself and doctors we are all warning against this makeup trend makeup hack I don't know it's just not even something you need to think about doing because your lips can be left with soreness with bruises with torn skin with lumps and bumps in them and it's just not the end result you're looking for I've said this before I would love to have you know double the size of my lips but in a natural way, if it, even if it's not, you know, natural, natural, but in a natural looking way. And this is something you need to avoid at all costs. Don't do it. It's not a great idea. So guys, I really hope you liked my video. And uh, yeah, it was a subject I wanted to approach because I see so much crap on the internet. And you know, makeup wise, because I'm not gonna even touch other subjects. This is how I feel and I hope that you agree with me and I'm gonna catch you in my next tutorial. Until then, stay safe, bye.